Hello everyone and welcome to another Tutorial Thursday. My name is Swiss and today we're going to be going over approaching. How to actually approach with Snake, ways to approach with Snake, and pretty much that's it from there. So go ahead, watch the video, give it a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and get started. Now approaching with snake can be a little bit complicated and there's a few factors that you have to actually understand on approaching someone uh, and we're going to start off with going over two things that's conditional conditioning and analyzing so when you're conditioning conditioning and analyzing you need to always keep track of your opponent and make sure that you're looking at your opponent more than you are yourself because you need to understand what are they doing in the neutral are they jumping are they running at you are they using projectiles you know what exactly are they doing and then conditioning is primarily based on around actually using grenades and seeing how they work around that if you throw a grenade are they jumping are they shielding are they rolling are they running backwards are they r running forwards etc etc so using one grenade should be able to get you enough data to actually know what you need to do to actually approach your opponent also as well not only that but if you're also um, using two grenades and that's just going to help out even more right to cover options and to also see how they react with two grenades versus one grenade how are they reacting to nikita in neutral if you use nikita how are they moving around c4 etc etc so it's definitely under it's definitely um your responsibility to make sure that you're watching your opponent, seeing what they're doing, how are they moving, how are they reacting, and going from there. And that's, again, conditioning and analyzing. Now, after you've used a couple grenades, run forward, run backward, or something like that, kind of see like how they react to your movement and your projectiles, such as grenades or Nikita in neutral. Now it's time to actually use that to your advantage. In this case being said, if I throw this grenade, and they keep jumping. Let's just say the Samus keeps jumping, uh, such as like this. So let's say I'm throwing grenades, right? And she keeps jumping over it. So in this case, what you want to do is throw a grenade and then try to figure out a counter option to that. Whether it's, you know, raw back air or you short hop near them or you run up up till, you know, or dash attack on landing. I mean, whatever you think is going to be the best option to actually cover that. So. Once you do that, that's going to help out a lot because that's going to help you get inside and actually be able to approach your opponent. Now, there are certain things you could do as far as besides just throwing grenades. And one thing I noticed that MVD does and a few other snake players do as well is the slow approach. And that's generally just throwing grenades and just kind of just moving behind it. Like you don't want to throw a grenade, run in and then dash attack. You want to kind of just throw a grenade kind of leave that around slowly move up behind it inch up closer to them and then try to use your advantage to attack them with a down tilt a dash attack or a grab or if they're jumping you know use aerials etc etc so you want to make sure that you're using your grenades as far as approaching because that's gonna help you get inside especially if they're shielding or something they're gonna feel stuck because of this grenade that they can't move around so again they might try to get out the way or they might sit in shield and if they do sit in shield, again, that's a free grab to try to look for a nade conversion out of down throw or something like that if you could. Or you could like jump over them, get like a nair or something or, you know, whatever the case, whatever really the case is that you want to go for to try to counter what their options are as far as moving. But the grenades is a really good projectile because you can move up closer with it and you can try to freeze your opponent to keep them in one spot. That way you can pressure them as much as possible. So now that we've gone over a general idea of approaching with Snake, we're going to go into two different character groups now, and that's going to be zoners and rushdown characters. So we're going to start with zoning. So when you're playing a zoner, you need to understand a couple of things, and that's going to be how does grenade react to their projectiles? Either when they both contact each other, does the grenade blow up or does it stop where it's at and nothing happens? Other than that, do can you crouch under the projectile, right? Can you jump over the projectile? And you need to use these things to actually be able to approach. 
So you need to know these things. If you don't know the matchup, if you're fighting a Samus for the first time and you don't understand how her projectiles work, then you have to try a few things just to see what happens and then try to analyze and get your data as soon as quickly as possible. So in this case being said, if you're fighting a zone or Samus, I tend to just throw, throw a grenade like this just to see what happens when a projectile hits it. When it hits missile, does it blow up? Does it hit, when it hits charge shot, does it blow up? Does it do nothing? Does it depend on how charged up it is? And you have to understand that. And once you do, then you need to decide, okay, if it blows up on contact, then I can hard throw this in and then move up closer. If it doesn't, like let's say Link's boomerang. Link's boomerang on contact with grenade doesn't blow up. So I should, in this case, throw a grenade and then try to move in that way that way to fight them at a distance or if they're throwing a boomerang i should try to jump over it and then punish them that way and that same thing with missiles charge shot uh belmont's cross or you know whoever the whoever else zones in this game you need to understand that if you jump over the projectile can you do you have enough time to grab them dash attack them down tilt f tilt etc or you know even just jumping over them jumping over the projectile and hitting them with the back air for it so Again, you need to understand how the projectiles works because that's what's going to help you actually get in. Whether it's hard throwing a grenade, jumping over the projectile to get in, or whatever the case is. Last thing about zoners as well, if you notice that you can crouch under their projectile, I highly recommend using crawl. So you can crawl up to them and then be able to down tilt them or dash out of the crawl and then go for a dash attack or, or a grab or a down air or whatever the case is. So if you can crouch under the projectile, that's going to help out a lot because you can crawl under under it, reach up to them, and then try to hit them with a down tilt or punish them for actually throwing out a projectile rather than jumping over. Jumping over is another option, of course, but you can also use to crawl if you can actually crawl under the projectile. So now we're going to be going over rushdown characters. And every rushdown character is a little bit different, right? Whether it's... You know, like a Wario, Mario, Luigi, or what if it's a Swordy, or, you know, just a super heavy like Bowser or Ganondorf. So it's really all dependent. Generally, though, from what I've seen Salem do, more than likely what he does is kind of go in like this, back facing towards your opponent with a grenade. So that way, if they swing, then they have a, you know, bigger probability to actually hit the grenade, cause a trade, and then you can look into getting a back air follow up off of it. So you could do that. You could always just remain moving. So you could like come in with this and then just like be reverse. And then um, try to cause like a whiff and then go from there. So you could do something like that. You could tomahawk back air. So like, let's say you keep going in with back air or something like that. And then you just fake them out and then do a down throw or a grab or anything like that. You could do that too. Uh, and then it's just the same thing, but with a grenade. So like if you come in with a grenade and you keep going in with the back air, you could do that, grab them, and then, you know, just try to get a follow up off of that or, you know, whatever the case is. So you can try to use your grenade to your advantage to do that. And again, like I said in the beginning, the beginning of the video, you can also just still use this method to just use a grenade, try to keep it in one spot and then just move in closer. Now, when it comes to also coming in, you do, also, again, have to realize that you need to condition your opponent when you come in. So if you keep coming in with dash attack, let's say, you could keep doing that to condition your opponent to want to shield. So when they shield, instead of running up to them, you could just grab them instead of dashing. I mean, instead of doing a dash attack. So that's one thing to actually consider. And again, if you keep coming in with back air, and then all of a sudden you didn't back air and you grabbed him instead, or you did a down tilt, or you did a forward tilt, whatever the case is. You could try to mix it up that way. So those are ways like you, you can condition your opponent. A very good set to watch is Ally versus DeBuzz. He would come in with dash attack a lot, and then near the end, he would start doing dash grab. And that helped him out a lot to get a lot of percent and even to close out the set win. So one last thing I do want to go over as far as rushdown characters goes is if your snake is not fully developed as far as actually being as offensive as possible or being able to play a super aggressive very well, 
like let's say ally or something like that let's say you're just not on ally stance where you can just rush opponents and actually beat them uh it's sometimes you just have to play defensive and some matchups playing defensive is just better like versus ken and ryu for example their tilt game is extremely extremely good so sometimes you just can't you just don't want to actually rush them down sometimes you just have to play defense so again it's really really based on off of what character you're playing and the matchup in general but if you have a full aggressive game where your aggressive is stronger and you believe that and it actually is stronger than your opponents then you could play that game better and use it to approach use your approaching methods uh, to the best of your ability to actually get in and get damaged that way so again all dependent on character matchup and all dependent on player skill uh, other than that that's that's basically how you want to approach against you know zoners and rush down characters and how you actually want to have a just a, just like a, a layout in the beginning of the video was just like a layout of how to approach characters in general so i really hope that this helps you guys out i do also want to mention that there is an announcement that i have um i if you are on my community post or you haven't checked that yet i did just open up a snake ditto tournament online so it's snake only online and fighting for the name of big boss so if you guys want to join that or check it out definitely feel free to do so it's free registration and as well as that there are some cash prizes as well so i want to give back to the community as far as um what you guys have been helping out with financially to kind of bring, give that back to you guys or give you a chance to actually win some money so again thank you guys so much i'll have that the link for that in the description down below I appreciate you all watching this video. Have a good one, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye now. Never duplicate you, never multiply two. Everyone copy your pace, mask all up in on their face. This is fantasy and be haste. They are cool with their complaints. Uh, uh, uh. You feel it in you? Then you brush it off you. It's significant, but you got something we want. And your whole life is a taunt, because you will not just comply. Waking up for your day.